Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do an art haul. Art haul? I'm not very good at saying that word. I always say haul. <laughs> but uh, yeah, art haul. So um, I just wanted to show you what I've got recently because I'm quite new to art in general. So um, I have bought a lot of stuff recently, especially for like oil, uh, water mixable oil paint and stuff. Uh, not so much paint as other things, but yeah. So uh, I'm just doing this video because I love watching art hauls. So it's not it's not to brag or anything. Uh, I just I thought maybe they are fun to watch for others too. So so let's just start with the boring stuff. Yeah. Hi, Nagi! <laughs> Hi! Ooh. Hi, Malfi! <laughs> Hi! The first things I've got is this. Oh! These uh, three ink pads. Uh, one in gold, one in black, and one in silver. Um, I don't know what I will do with these because. I've not used stamps a lot, but I think I can do something cool with these. And maybe I'll try to make a stamp to like with my signature that I put on drawings and stuff. That would be cool. So yeah, those. Then I got this 50 centimeter ruler because you know um, sometimes I'm doing this large A3 sized drawings uh, sometimes. And um, you know, a uh, 30 centimeter ruler isn't always enough, so yeah, 50. Then I got this little cutting mat and also a hobby knife to go with it. And uh, uh, I regret not getting a bigger one because this is quite small, so it's just an A4 size, but uh, I think it will come in handy anyways. Then I got these five drawing pens. They are waterproof, I, they said in the store. So I hope that's true, I haven't tried them yet. But I thought this would be handy to use on watercolor paper as I don't want to ruin the nibs on my Copics, Copic multiliners. So yeah, I, I'm gonna try these. Then I got this portfolio thing. Uh, to keep things that are A3 in size. So right now I just keep that uh, painting that I did last week in it. So <coughs> it's it was just a cheap one. So um, but I didn't have any storage solutions for big big paintings and drawings like this. So I needed that. And also. The, the last video I used this watercolor paper, it's the Winsor Newton R oh, ooh, Artist watercolor paper. <laughs> so it's 300 GSM or 140 pounds. And uh, yeah, I really like it, uh, but it's, I don't know, it has like bended a little. I don't know if that maybe is my room being a little too moist, I don't know. But I really like it, and I thought I heard something. Yeah, I would recommend this at least. And now uh, I just uh, wanted to show what I have these three boxes that I just bought. They are not art supplies, you know, but I bought them to keep my oil paints in. And I've sorted them in color, so um, with this one has neutral colors, this one has cold colors, and this one has warm colors. And now over to painting stuff. I got a bunch of uh, palette knives, uh, or painting knives, and uh, they are from Reeves. I don't know, my camera doesn't autofocus, so I'll... I'll just give that up. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought that those would come in handy for my painting. 
And I also got a lot of brushes. I've got one of these um, for using with gesso and stuff. Um, just quite cheap. I hope it doesn't shed. And then I got a brush, a fan brush, fan brush, and uh, this one is also one that I'm a little afraid that would shed, but I hope it's doable. And if not, it's not a big loss because it was very cheap. And also I got a lot of filberts, also cheap brushes. I don't, I don't have the money or the patience to have uh, expensive brushes yet, so I'll just go cheap. So I have two number one filberts, one number two, one number four, one number eight, and ten, and then sixteen. I didn't have any like really big brush, so I wanted this one. And also I got this um, brush soap, and it also says that it is for hands, at least I can't read German, but <laughs> it says Pinsel und der Hande. I don't know. So, <laughs> um, I, I have no idea how this works, so I'm just gonna try it. And also, I haven't totally given up on acrylics, so, but I bought this acrylic retarder and um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm very excited to try it because if this works as I want it to, I maybe will be able to finish a couple of paintings that I've started in acrylics. So I really like the slow drying time of oils, so I really hope that this does the same to acrylics in, in at, at least a little slower drying time. <laughs> and then I got this to it just says cleaner, um, but it smells like really bad, like alcohol almost, and I think it is um, for cleaning uh, glass and stuff like that before, um, uh, if you have something sticky on them or something. But I bought them to rinse my palette from time to time because uh, usually I let the paint dry on the palette and then I use a scraper to scrape it off. But it, it's always like a lot of residue on the glass. So I tried these on that glass and it works perfectly. And these were these were on sale so they were like one buck each and I, I couldn't resist. <laughs> then I bought my first ever gum arabic. Gum arabic? I don't know how you say it. But it's for watercolors and gouache to make it more glossy. And I've also heard that you can use it for like um, dipping your brush in if it has frayed. So you can like um, put it in water and um, no kitty. Uh, <laughs> and um, come on, come, come on, come. Oh my god! Now they're stuck with me. <laughs> So I hope you don't mind my cats being around. So um, I don't remember if I told it. Okay, gum arabic is for watercolors and for gouache to make it more glossy. And it's I also heard that it can be used for restoring frayed brushes. So you just take uh, the the brush in water and like um, form it back to the shape you want it and dip it in the gum arabic and then it will keep its shape but I, I haven't tried it yet so I'm very excited to see if it works you don't get to get out again now nope <laughs> um, on the topic of gouache I got myself some really cheap gouache set and it's a set of uh, 12 different colors and it, it was like 10 bucks for all these colors and uh, I don't think they are like good quality or anything but I wanted to try gouache because I haven't tried it before so yeah I've just done some swatches of this and it looks really cool and I, uh, I look forward to experimenting with it and when I was 
uh, buying all those squashes, I realized that I wanted a white more, so I got this PBO 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 gouache um, extra fine blank uh, titanium now uh, titanium white. So um, just to have something extra white because you use white. <laughs> and then I also just got a couple of these palettes to use with it. Um, to blend, yeah. So, uh, on to oil paints. Not a lot of paints, as I said, but a lot of stuff around it. So, I got two liters of PVA glue because I have uh, also gotten, I can show one of them, some MDF boards to paint on. So, what I will do as the store that I bought it from said I could, is to take PVA glue first on this one and then gesso it. So I'm looking forward to see how that works and um, I hope it like doesn't, uh, that it seals it. I hope it seals it good. So because I've heard a lot about yellowing and uh, paintings being ruined by painting on these kinds of things, but I'll try, I'll see how it goes, and then, yeah, you know, you have to experiment. So yeah, I got this one, <laughs> and then I also got one in a bigger size, so these two, and then I got five of these even bigger, oi, whoop, here, so this is uh, this is 20 by 30 and the next one is 30 by 40 and the last one is 40 by 50 and I, uh, I got five of that big one uh, you can put those back there and then I got three bottles of um, acrylic gesso uh, and I have read about uh, acrylic gesso not being the best for oil paints, but I'm, uh, I'm going to sand it down to see if that works. And uh, I bought three of these because they were on the way out. Um, how do you say that? Uh, the store that I usually buy these from are taking them out of stock, so I just thought they were kind of cheap, so I just. I just wanted them. <laughs> but when I learn more about painting after a while, I'll probably go over to something that is for oils if if that turns out to be a problem. But for now, I'm happy with these. Then I got some some cheap canvases, just two, three packs of these, and uh, they are 46 by 38 centimeters. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, I wanted something like decently big to paint on because I like working kind of big but not too big if you know what I mean. And uh, then I have three things left. I have, ugh, wait a second, wait a second. I have bought, move. I have bought a, a beginner set of Winsor & Newton Artisan uh, water mixable oil colors and uh, I thought the colors in this set was a, bit, a little bit weird because it isn't like a mixing set but the, they are nice anyways so there is titanium white, cadmium yellow hue, pale hue, um, uh, phthalo green blue shade and French French Ultramarine, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, and Yellow Ochre. And uh, they are just to supplement my paints because uh, I realized that when you have those really really small tubes, paint really disappears really fast, so um, yeah, it's great to fill up. So, almost at the end now, I have this really huge MDF board. So, oh my god, it feels like, yeah, the whole screen. It's um, 
70 by one up. 70 by 100 centimeters um, and oh my god wait a second and it's for a very special gift that I'm gonna give to someone but it's not gonna be in, in a while but I am gonna make a speed paint of it but I don't know when I will be able to put it up so <laughs> don't go waiting yet <laughs> but yeah um, and the last thing I wanted to show is something that I won't bring out here, but I'll show you in the clip. I have bought a studio easel and I am very excited to put it up. I have been wanting an easel for a long time now and I suddenly got a little burst of money to use on it. So uh, I just had to get it. And now I will be able to paint those big paintings that I'm dreaming of. And yeah, I I feel so lucky to have been able to buy all these things because there isn't always that much money around, you know? Art supplies are kind of not cheap, you know? Especially when you're starting out and you want all the things at once, like me. <laughs> so I feel really happy about all my stuff now and I'll probably won't buy anything more before like after Christmas and my birthday and my birthday is late in January so but after that I am going to go to a um, what some art stores in um, our capital city <laughs> Oslo uh, because we don't have those kind of art stores other places not at least not where I live and not like yeah you know in my area, so um, I want to go there to, you know, go to the store and feel the supplies, you know? It's not the same just buying some paper online or, I don't know, seeing like the colors that are on the paint tubes or something like that. It's not the same online, so I really look forward to that. And so I hope you enjoyed my haul and <laughs> that it wasn't boring. There was a lot of stuff that is like very exciting, but they are exciting to me. And I'm so looking forward to creating all kinds of different stuff with all these materials. So if you want to see what I can make with all these materials, just keep watching my channel, I guess. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time. Bye!